Hi, and thanks for watching. My name is Danielle Dale, and I'm the 2012 American Honey Princess. As American Honey Princess, I travel all across the country, and I talk to people of all ages about honeybees and why they're so important for us. One question I get frequently in schools and other places is what happens when a honeybee stings you? So that's something that we're going to talk about today. In a beehive, there are three types of bees. There's the queen, the drone, and the workers. The queen has a stinger and she's the only bee that can sting more than one time because her stinger is smooth, but she'll never use it on a beekeeper or any other type of animal or predator. The only time she'll ever use it is if there's more than one queen in the hive. So we don't have to worry about being stung by the queen. There's also drones in each hive. The drones are all males, but they're born without a stinger. So we don't have to worry about get being, getting stung by drones either. And the last bee in the hive are the workers. The workers are all female and they do have a stinger, but they can only sting one time because on their stinger, there's these little barbs and they get caught up in whatever the honeybee is stinging. And when that stinger gets pulled out of her body, so does part of her stomach and intestines. And just like we can't live without our stomach, the worker bees can't live without theirs either. So today I'm going to show you what happens when a honeybee stings. I brought my dad with me. He's an experienced beekeeper, so I'm going to actually sting his hand. And it's not going to harm him because he's used to being stung by bees. So I'm going to use this worker bee to sting his hand right here. And I'm going to pull it out. And as when I pull out the stinger, you're going to see the intestines get pulled out of this worker bee. So she's going to die shortly after she stings, like I said. And this stinger, if you look closely, you can see that it's continuing to pump venom into him. That's because there's muscles that allow that stinger to do that. And that stinger is going to keep doing that for about a minute until you get the stinger out. Now, if you ever are stung by a honeybee, you're not going to want to pull it out to get it out because there's a little sack of venom on that stinger, almost like a little mini water balloon. If you squeeze it, you're going to be squeezing the venom inside of you. And you're going to want to get the stinger out fairly soon, like I said, because it's going to continue pumping. In order to do that, you're going to scrape it off, maybe using a finger. So I'm going to use my fingernail to scrape off the stinger. And there you can see I scraped it out. And you can see the venom sac still attached to the stinger. Now when a honeybee stings, it gives off an alarm, an alarm pheromone, so it tells other worker bees that it did sting. So that's another reason why we try to get it out fairly quickly after it's stung. But honeybees are very gentle, so they don't like to sting. Okay, so thank you for watching today.